so if we drop it need to be dropped somewhere here then it will be a perfect slide or else it will bounce so let's key here now giving it a good height so increase the frame and it will move from here let's fix the graph until we won't do that we can't move ahead there is no movement here in the X we just key and we leave it we'll check the Y first mm, I need a little more speed here that should do it so this is how it's going ok so this much I think this is too much yeah let's reduce it so this is a good speed now so we can see how much distance is traveling in one frame right so if I calculate and take this distance there is like from here 1 2 3 4 and somewhere around 5 grids somewhere around 4 grids so it's moving somewhere around 4 grids right so it will move like 1, 2, 3, 4 somewhere here on the 13th frame so I'll just do the manual work somewhere around in 13th frame then 1, 2, 3, 4 somewhere around here in 14th frame One, two, three, four. somewhere around in, in 15th frame and then I'm also rotating the ball as it's moving I'm trying to keep it straight and in 16th frame it will flew in the air I think I did a lot 1, 2, 3, 4 somewhere around just outside the edge so you can see how the graph have updated how the x axis went axis it should be all straight and this is nice it starts slowly and it gains the speed it should be more gaining a speed here ok now I'll go 2 frame ahead and do a manual key it should be at more height here mm. oh, that's ok so we have smartly keyed everything in one frame we can animate like this this is one option even you can reduce some keys like you can reduce 13 now it is still there if you remove 14 let's see now what happened it went in the air to make it go mm, yeah it hit the ground again let's see 13 it's almost there let's check the X graph so from here you can push it back let's see 14 perfect so we manage the two key from graph and maintaining from here would be hard so I'll I won't be using the 16 frame key I'll be going ahead and putting a key on few frames ahead where it's going to be on top so let's complete the animation of this loop it's coming from here it should go at least this much of distance again so let's say somewhere around here it should go this point the time let's calculate the time 
it takes like 12 13 14 it takes like 14 frame to hit the ground here it couldn't go back in like 10 to 11 frames so it started i'll take 10 frames we'll play and see if it looks good it's okay if it doesn't look good that's a different thing so this because of the graph okay, let's do the another 10 frame key I leave the key at 16 I can go down so it doesn't really need to be so all it needs to be is smooth and I can't change the arc here so, so it really get the nice speed and it should be keep going the graph says it should be coming this much so I'll just go with the graph it won't be stopping here that should do it I feel like it's slowing down as it goes I'll reduce the framing okay so it was 10 I'll drop it down to 9 frames I'll drop it even more so somewhere around 8 frames I'm doing with the 8 frame now with the 8 frame now it can be depending upon further animation I mean ignoring it let's see the curve so now it's pretty much justifying the slope what is missing is a stretch so let's add some stretch in it square zero uh, key stretch here that's the issue if you add a stretch you can really stretch here and what's the next key 24 stretch back to 0 We'll have some stretch here. It will just reduce. So let's check the stretch graph. This is the peak, and the next will be again a stretch. So it will start like like this. Yes, and it hit the peak here and it stay at peak till here so there is no hit happening here so we won't break the graph so we need to make some adjustment we can increase the stretch as we added some stretch now the ball is not touching the surface anymore so we need to make some changes with the graph 
even in the rotation so i just exaggerated the motion you can just reduce the stretch and try different way but overall you get the idea of how to animate on this different kind of surface so we can reduce it that's it for today guys we'll meet again in the next video